Welcome to the Chronicles of Yarnia, the podcast from Montclair's local yarn store. I'm Jen. Amanda. Kathleen. And it's episode... 57? 57. Yeah, I was like, we're near 60. 57. I do not pay attention to it. I mean, it started off, I really didn't pay attention to it, and now I'm like, what's going to happen if I actually pick one? (laughs) Like, the world will... It's like roulette. Right. Right. Like, it's just, it's not... It's not my thing. I know. Maybe, like, there'll be a surprise. Um, <laughs> the reason I knew what number it was was because I checked yesterday when I was starting my little cheat sheet for our episode because we forgot to do a giveaway last time. Yes, but Silly we're us. not going to make that we're mistake We're not going to forget again. So we've already talked about what our giveaway is. We will tell yes. you later on. Um, and also, if you are, you know, welcome. If you're a new watcher, welcome back. If you're a returning watcher, if you're a returning watcher, you may say, where's Haley? Yes. <laughs> because we oh, have, for a long time now, been having four of us here. Haley is enjoying a few days at the beach, or as they say in New Jersey, the shore. Down Going the shore. down the shore. I've only lived here for 30 years. I still say the beach. I'm a New Yorker. No, New no. New Yorkers say the beach. Down the shore. <laughs> Haley's down the shore. I'm joining her later today for a little bit. Um, anyway, we will have, uh, we will hopefully have some pictures to insert of her in her cotton cardigan that she finished, yes. and it's so adorable. So. She's so fast. She's, She's so fast. She's And she, like, rips things out and redoes them, and it's still fast. It's oh, my just, God. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, she watches a lot of Zelda and a lot of movies. <laughs> there we go. That helps. It, it helps. helps. It helps to be a student and not be in school right now. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean. It's yeah, like it's just true. doesn't have a whole lot of responsibilities. It's true. It's okay. And now that we all feel jealous. I know. Yeah, right. Welcome to our podcast. If you're a new viewer, this is um, a podcast from Yarnia, Montclair's local knitting store. Um, we and talk crochet. At, well, local yarn store. Yarnia. Hence the yarn name. Store. And yarn. spinning. Yeah. Right, so we do all things, yarny and, and, and wooly and, and fiber. And embroidery, too. <laughs> yep. So Though not knitting. counted cross-stitch at this point. We've had a few questions about counter cross-stitch lately, but... I love counter cross-stitch. I can't go down that path. I can't either. I, I have some I, projects that are like, just the back stitch, and I'm done. With Catherine's birth announcement <laughs> cross-stitch. How old is Catherine? <laughs> She's 19 and a half. <laughs> I know. Cross stitch is one of those things. It seems like it's going to be quick, and then it's just not. Oh, no. But no, I'll, I'll do needlepoint. Although, yeah, one of my um, one of my colleagues in insurance land is a count of, does kind of cross stitch beautiful ones, and she hangs them out. I think it's like just the same way that we are diligent about. Just putting a little Socks. bit of work on every yeah. day on our knitting. She's diligent about yeah, putting a little exactly. bit on every day. If you have one craft, I think it's a lot easier to be super productive if you have like one thing that you focus on. Yeah. In that sure. Way. Yeah. yeah. When you flit between things, as I yes. do, I oh like the little kind of cross stitches. The, ones the tiny little do. ones. Yeah. Yes, I know. Those are so fun. Most of my siblings have something that I made in my counter cross stitch Aww. days somewhere yeah. in their homes. Yeah. That was actually, I think, the first. No, I think my mom taught me how to knit first, and then, because she mm-hmm. used to do counted cross-stitch as well, mm-hmm. and then I learned how to do counted cross-stitch, and then I was like, I can't with the counting. Um, <laughs> this is making me crazy. Mm-hmm. And I was like, eight. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do I have a, a balloon. I did I did one of like, you know, like a little bunch of balloons mm-hmm. that I think is still mm-hmm. in my childhood bedroom. Oh, cute. I know. I love, I always loved embroidery when I was a kid. I don't know why. Like, I don't think yeah. anyone in my family embroidered, but... I remember going to, you know, some, like, a five and dime type thing that yeah. they had at that point, and they had pillowcases that had, like, a little embroidered oh, edge, so and I was like, Mommy, will you please buy that for me? And she did, probably, like, to keep me busy, <laughs> right. to keep me out of trouble, like, oh, she was good, to sit and do something quiet, Perfect. and I remember learning the Lazy Daisy, it was oh, so sweet, I probably so have the pillowcases sweet. somewhere. I always loved the ones that had the crochet lace edging, mm-hmm. um, but for whatever reason, crochet didn't stick with me until like my thirties. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you know, I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> and by then, I realized I don't like sleeping on like lace. Mm-hmm. So. Oh yeah. We digress. This is this is this should be the subtitle to our podcast. Totally. We totally. digress. Yes. Um, <laughs> but yes. So Haley's it's down usually the shore. Somewhat related, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of. Mostly. After a fashion. Mostly. Eventually. If it's about yarny things or maybe yeah. nerdy things. Or like, you know, <laughs> take, takes a left-hand turn into, <laughs> into video games oh. or... 
nerdy things for this week. Yes. Oh, nerdy yeah. Things. Yeah, we should we'll grab that. We have some nerdy that. things this week to show. Oh, which yeah. Will and be really fun. Can we show the August one since it's August? I don't think so. Okay. I didn't know what the release date was. This is all like. <laughs> Sorry, business. Inside baseball. <laughs> right. <laughs> totally inside baseball. Um. <laughs> But basically, uh, something that's coming up for new in store. But before we get to new in store, we, we gotta talk should, about finished objects. We gotta talk about finished yeah. objects because I finally have one. Yay! About damn time. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm, I'm, I've been Amanda terrible. Amanda, have this to bleep, summer. Jen. You don't have to bleep that. Okay, good. The first time you bleeped me, it was with a doorbell sound, and I swear to God, I was like, "Sorry, I won't do that again." No, no, it was hilarious because I was watching it, and I go, "Oh my God, somebody's at the door!" (laughs) Like, nope, you just got kids are like nicely bleeped. (laughs) No, nobody's at the door. Mm -hmm. You got beeped, and I was like, "No, somebody's at the door." Go look, go look, go look, go look. Mm. And I was like, "Nobody's on the camera." Like, did they drop a package? And I was like, "Oh, oh, I'm real, I'm, I'm real smart." (laughs) <laughs> but hey, considered we're up to yeah. episode 50 something and I haven't cursed that much. Yeah, yeah you I realized after that scale. first one, doorbells and podcasts are like sirens and songs on the radio. Oh yeah, where you're like, you think, yes! it's, you think it's in real life. Yes! Yeah, not, you should yeah. not do that. <laughs> there are a couple of songs where I'm like, oh my god, there's cops behind me. I've got to sleep. Yeah, yes! Yeah. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> not cool. And I won't ever do the doorbell thing again. Yeah. <laughs> and Max You did like, another funny one that was like a, a horn or a something. No, right? but it's just bad, bad words. Bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh. Again, we digress. Mm. Um, so I have a finished object. Yay! Yay! Uh, it is my only finished object for a while. This summer has been just just a rip. Anyway, um, <laughs> so look, and I'm w- using sock blockers, which I never you found them you ever used. Them I right? found them. Yay! I these are like old, old, old. I really like them because they're just simple little. Metal. Well, they really let your socks dry if you wash them. That's, that's yes. what I was thinking, yeah. Yes. And guess what? They are on the way to our store. I did yeah. order some the other day. So, so we'll have some of these. Uh, actually, by the time the podcast goes up, they probably will be... Metal sock blocker. Not here, here in the next couple of days. But what's and your sock? My sock is... Uh, it is a toe-up sock that I used elements like the stitch pattern from uh, Soda Fizz? No, Soda Pump? Soda water. Soda water. Thank you. Bye. So pretty. Uh, uh, yawn. Oh, like not that. Yanni. No, but it's, uh, it's such a cute name too. Oh, Amanda will put it in. Um, <laughs> but I didn't actually follow the rest of the pattern. I did my own mm-hmm. toe up using Judy's Magic Cast On, which mm-hmm. is amazing. I love it. Oh, so fun. Um, and then I did a flegal heel. Yes. From the toe up, which I actually really like how it fits. Can and I this, show what the flegal looks like? Absolutely. See the flegal heel is oh, one of the heels. This matches your sweater, Amanda. Oh it does gosh, match my sweater. <laughs> Ooh, blowing out. This is okay. in Yorkshire. West Yorkshire. West there Yorkshire we go. Spinners peony so colorway. T- um, I love this sock yarn. So how does a flegal heel go, right? So a flegal heel from the toe up, you basically do increases on either side of the sole stitches in order to make the gusset yeah. mm-hmm. <clears throat> until you are at, you increase until you are, really you double the stitches less two. So I did a 32, I, it's a 64 stitch sock. Mm-hmm. So the sole stitches were 32 stitches and I increased on either side of the sole stitches until I got to 62 stitches on just the sole. Okay. Then you essentially do a standard heel turn, uh, like a French heel, where you um, knit to two stitches past the center, Uh slip, slip, knit, knit one, turn, knit to purl to two stitches past Uh the center, purl Purl two two together, together, purl one, turn. And you do that until you have eaten up all of your stitches. Wow. And it makes a really nice, um, very straightforward, no picking up stitches. No picking up stitches. No oh, picking nice. up stitches, heel turn. Mm-hmm. You just have to know where to start your heel, but it's the same thing as most toe up socks where you start your heel right when, if you pull on your sock, right where your leg and your foot meet. Uh-huh. When you're flat. Where the burn is, yeah. where the turn. Burn. And pull it, pull it a little tight. <laughs> Um, you Not can, enough coffee. Right, exactly. <laughs> and you can do the flegal heel top down or toe up. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the first time I've done it. I actually really like it for toe up because there are very few toe up, um, 
heel flaps that I like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or heels that I like. Mm-hmm. I don't like the way a short row heel fits. This fits very close to a standard flap and gusset. What's more interesting, and I'll get into this when I talk about the works in prog- progress, is that I prefer the way the legal heel fits when you're doing toe up to the way it fits when you're doing cuff down. Because it fits slightly different. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it on my next here toe up socks. Yes, exactly. It's exactly, uh, the width is where I need it right here. Mm-hmm. But if you have thicker ankles and narrower feet, you might want the width here. So then you would use it with a top down. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's a very straightforward um, eyelet pattern. It makes like this cute little texture. It's really pretty, yeah. Two by two rib, fun. and I did a sewn bind off. Two by two rib on the cuff. On the mm-hmm. cuff. Mm-hmm. And then I did a sewn bind off at the top because I like the sewn bind off. It's nice and stretchy. Yeah. Not a fussy pattern. Not a fussy pattern. And I did the two by two for as long as I could stand, which is about 15 rows. <laughs> you sound like Haley. It's like, I was like, like I, do I should do it, as I it can longer. Tolerate it. And I was like, no, it looks yes. really cute. I like the proportion. Yeah. Very nice. It fits really nicely. Um, I can't wait. I've been dying to try a Flegal, and now that I have your comments, I, I will yeah. do it on my next toe up. I really like the Flegal heel. Um, it's also called a strong heel because various ah. different people have kind of like invented it over the course. Okay. But it's most widely known as Flegal heel. Gotcha. Um, I did yeah, even, I, I copied did. the instructions off the blog that it's on and, mm-hmm. and put them in a document and printed it out. Great instructions. Just haven't done anything with it yet. Yeah. So my next toe up socks that I have not yet cast on are the ones that are going to have it. Because the one, I was going to do it on the ones that are cast on now, but um, I want to do contrasting heels and I oh, feel yeah. like it's not as conducive. It would kind of have a funny shape. Yeah, you'd end up with a, it. you'd end up with a band. Mm. Or well, if I did it, because you're just working these stitches, right? You're just, yeah. just like no, on. you're working the entire oh. end step. So you have oh, to do really? it like Yeah. Stitch. So okay. it's it's there's no picking up stitches. You literally like uh, these are the sole stitches. Oh, so you're doing that, and then you're still working your and pattern on the front. And you're still working your end step around. Wow. So I can't wait to try it. Very, it sounds really fun. And I think yeah. you could mess around with like the increases that you could do. You could do a knit front and back, and have like a nice little like bloop. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the, the technical, <laughs> technical term, term for, sure. for the bar. Um, you could make cool. like a decorative. You could, I bet you could do yarn overs and have like a really a pretty little eyelet like, kind of thing. Eyelet thing. Ooh, getting yeah. fancy. Oh, I like fancy. to get fancy. So I know exactly what I'm going to do for my trying at the flugel heel because I just finished a pair of spun right round socks. Oh, oh I mean, nice. love. plain vanilla socks in spun right round, and it's kind of my my take on the plain vanilla with bits from you know all different patterns, but. I loved this yarn so much, I made the leg like 80 stitches. <laughs> 80 so rows. So you're like, everyone it's, can it's see really my long. pretty. Yeah. And, well, it just, I, and I did use a That's lot of a the yarn. Color. I, I love, love the feel of this yarn. It's like, I can't, as soon as I finish it, I'm like, all right, what one am I going to get next? I need because to make socks out of that. You need to make socks out of it. It's, it is so nice. We should so get nice. that in DK. It would make a really nice, like, oh, yeah. yeah. It would be yeah. beautiful. You could just but, throw that on with, like, or anything. Or pullover. The other thing I'm thinking, though. Oh, what yeah, color is that? yeah. This is Papa Wheelie. Papa Wheelie. We yeah. should get that in But DK. the other thing I've been, like, screenshotting from, Inst- I know you can save things on Instagram other ways, but my uh, my preferred method of saving things is to screenshot and then put I them like in an too. album. Then I can find then it. I can easily find it. And then, and also, as my thoughts change over time, it's easy to weed things out and whatever. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I, I've been screenshotting different colors. I want to get, next time we order from Spider Round, I have like another 10 colors I want to get because they're all beautiful. They are Every all beautiful. Every single one. They are gorgeous. I love her she color sense. Has the most amazing palette. Yeah. But the th- other thing that's so interesting, sometimes you look at it in the scan and you're like, mm, that's pretty, that's interesting, it looks nice. You start knitting it up and you're like, oh my god, I can't wait to wear these socks because they're yeah. so pretty. They're so gorgeous. So pretty. So I did uh, one by one twisted rib. Um, yeah, about 80, 80 rounds for the leg used Nitty Natty's trick of casting on over the two needles. It is my favorite. It is, thank you Natalie. Um, it, it's just, I, it's funny, even though I'm a loose knitter, I always had trouble when I did top down socks with the cast on being loose enough. Yeah. Casting on over the two needles and then just, you know, starting to knit from there. Even, you know, this goes pretty high up on my leg because it's 80 rounds. No problem. Wow, there's, yeah. there's plenty of, you know, give to it, but it's not droopy. Right. Yeah. It's perfect. So, um, yep. So, regular slip stitch heel, uh, heel flap and gusset, and then I do more of a rounded toe. I do um, the decreases every other row until I get to uh, 16 stitches per needle, and then every row until I get to 8 stitches per needle, and then I kitchener. 
The color really is beautiful. I'm looking at the toe. Kind this of, is like, so you with the teal color. and this is everything. So neat. We have the to get teal. that in DK. Yeah. Because yeah. I want to make something out of it. Wait, what was the other color that you wanted to make something out of after you saw on Instagram? Um, oh, I can look on my phone and tell you, but it's it's like something something about space. It actually has a lot of blue and aqua and like dark. Ooh. It's it's really pretty. It's nice. really of course it's really pretty. They're all pretty. Yes. So yeah. I really love the Papa Wheeling. Yeah, it's really fun. I know, I, I just kinda liked it because I wanted something that wasn't too light that had some yeah. color in it. Like it just, you know It's like it's it like kind of hit a few that neutral with the pops. Yeah. Of color and it's mm -hmm. got like it's got orange and yellow and teal mm -hmm. and some like pink and yeah a little a couple of little bits of purple every now and then I mean it's just yeah it's really pretty yeah. I mean if you haven't worked with spun right round highly recommend it both the fingering and the DK are just really lovely um, really mm -hmm. lovely bases and really lovely colors yep and so I mean pretty. you you loved it that was why we got yeah. more originally right you made yeah. a few pairs of socks yes yeah, yeah. Um, now I'm just looking. It reminds me of Tosh Grace Notes, which is also uh -huh. like yeah. a gray yeah. neutral base. This is more like, like a taupey background with yeah, exactly. the flex and the Grace Notes, Grace which Notes we have more gray. Coming. And it um, has, yeah. Grace Notes has primary color speckles, and this one mm -hmm. I feel like has like jewel tone speckles. Yeah, yes. like autumnal kind of, yeah, yeah. autumnal jewels. Yeah. yeah, it would make a yeah. beautiful anything. Or a shawl. Can you imagine a shawl? Well, a mm -hmm. shawl you can mm -hmm. do in the fingering, so you don't mm -hmm. have to yeah. wait for the DK. That's true. <laughs> right. And then That's you could be like, that would be like the perfect <laughs> kind of like the shawl that makes the outfit because it goes with everything. It's neutral, but you've got the pops of color. I have a neutral shawl like yeah. that. And it's that's what I wear all the all time. All the time, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta find something you wear all the time. Do you have any more finished objects? That is my only true finished object. Can we're like believe a it, sock or... day today. <laughs> Amanda, yeah. any finished objects? I do not have a finished sock. I have another finished teddy bear sweater. This is Yay! my last. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> this is my last one. So I'm done oh. with the teddy bear sweater. Um, the face is just. It's adorable, I love it. right? It's so and there's such good instructions in the pattern on how to do the face. Mm -hmm. which is fantastic. It's hard to do like a good face too, because if you get the eyes, yeah, wrong, it, it can be. It really it changes can be. the personality. Yeah, yeah, totally. So and the just, distance of the mouth from the eyes, like yeah. the shorter, the cuter it is. Sort of, it's, yes. it definitely makes a difference. So this is the teddy bear sweater by Petite Knits. I had three friends having babies in August and September. One of them had her baby. Day before yesterday. Congratulations! Yay, Yay. Yay baby! <laughs> yeah, so she's getting so she a teddy bear sweater. I was like, does she get the first teddy bear sweater? No, the first one has already gone to a baby shower. Okay. This is number two. Mm -hmm. number th or, no, this is number three. <clears throat> number two is going to my friend who had a baby yesterday, and then this one is going to my September friend who has a baby. All boys, so teddy bear sweater. Not that teddy bear sweater has to be boys. I was going to say. There's some but, really but it is lavender ones too. Uh -huh. oh my goodness. Little white, a little polar bear. Oh, so cute. You could tell my god, a polar bear. <laughs> so cute. Oh. Right? So I have a question. I love that. Do we yeah. think, Haley said the last time you showed one of these that she would wear one. Do we think she would if I make one for her? Yes, I think she would. Yeah. She probably would. I think she totally would. <laughs> well, I, it's funny because the wool folk is right behind the camera. <gasps> oh and my that, god. There is a brown wolf of. Oh, there's like a whole row of There's brown. like a whole row of brown, right? Yeah. Because they have there's like the most the gorgeous neutral neutrals yep. ever. But like there's one oh, that is. Oh my goodness. Oh. Can yeah. you imagine okay. a wolf oak sweater with a little teddy bear face? That would be really cute. How? Wow. Adorable. Okay. I think, I think I have a new thing for my list. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I like made you this. need to make one more for a sample for the store. Because I, that is ridiculous. I cute. made three of them. I made this. <laughs> They're a bit in cherished. Uh, DK, which mm -hmm. is the solid color King Cole DK. Um, I am making another one, and I'm thus far on it. Oh, I'm making yeah. this for Charlie. Oh, no, Charlie. Yeah. Oh, that's so, cute. Right? So, uh, and the, for Charlie, I did, wasn't going to, I didn't want to make another teddy bear. I don't know. Because I mean, well, out. you just, yeah, yeah, I made three. Maybe yeah. I'll make a teddy bear sweater for it's the It's so fast. There you go. They're short. I know. Vivian it was also looking to make days. a store sample, so maybe oh. we could ask her if she would mind. Yeah, it's really cute. You. Um, but, uh, I, I am using some, another, uh, self-patterning yarn. I'll show you that in a future, or in the, uh, later up. But I thought, oh, we haven't, we don't have any, like, we haven't used this in a long time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, we only have some samples from the, King Cole and right. we've done ourselves. This is the Cherish um, 
DK, which is a DK weight self patterning. It's really cute. It looks it's a really cute yeah, self patterning <laughs> yarn. So I did not do color work on this at all. I just and it looks like color work. And well, it's like the Richie of socks. It's yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Let it the yarn do the work. Going and going and going. But in DK, in DK, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's there are there's another brand that is self patterning baby yarn that's like in a bulky, and I used that for some. Pattern. I remember those ones. Yeah, the, this is before pre Yarnia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those are all quite girly. Even like the they, brown. Well, they make flowers. They make yes, little flowers. Yes, they make little kind of, flowers. Yeah. They do have a brown version of it, but it's all quite girly. I like that King Cole has both girl patterns and boy patterns. Mm -hmm. Like there, yeah. there's this, this pattern also comes in like pinks and purples and aquas it comes in mm -hmm. this one there's one that has there's taupe and green and yeah. blue which is really yeah pretty we cheap. definitely it's we good. try to get a lot of neutrals and also yeah. a lot of times when people are um asking oh you know can't decide what color to make a baby blanket especially if they don't know the gender of the baby or if they want it to be you know easily used by many yeah. babies gray is one of the most like silver gray gray is, is such a good there is a king, in King choice. Cole, it's nickel in the yes. uh, Cherish DK. Yeah, it's yeah. nickel. It's and we always order two to three times as much of that color as anything else because it sells really well this for me. For Charlie, I, I was going to cast it on for Teddy, but then I would only get one boy of wear out of it. So if I cast it on for Charlie, two it's, boys. Yeah, and then and Charlie is three now or he's four? He's three, yeah. Oh so this goodness. is the three, four size. Mm -hmm. um, and it is definitely bigger, so it's taking me longer than two and a half days, which is what this one takes me, <laughs> but not that much longer, and mm -hmm. I get double the wear. It doesn't take me double the time, but I'm yes. going to get double the wear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I cast this on. I had just like a little bit done on Saturday. I was at a dance competition. Ooh. Um, my own. I'll put a picture nice. in. Nice. I was knitting, and between heats, um, and got all the way there. Very nice. This was an easy project to like pack and take. Like I said, yeah. you don't have to change yarns. There's no. You just go. Yeah. yeah. And since I've knit it three times already, I know what the pattern is. So I didn't have to take a pattern with me or think about too yeah, much. Yeah, right. What to no. do. And once you Definitely. get past the sleeve divide, you're like, I okay. divided for sleeve. That was my goal for Saturday. Uh -huh. like, divide, divide for sleeves. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that's the thing also with like baby clothes and kids clothes is that like if you like the color they'll like the color sure. until they have an opinion of their own in which case god help you mm -hmm. if you pick the blue cup over the green cup but like <laughs> oh yes because water tastes better out of the blue cup and, like <laughs> well ugh, i can't even with that but in general like you don't have to be beholden to like you know the gender norms no, no it's like not. pick a color that you like I, and, but i still feel like people are always like oh it's a little girl i want to do something like Pink yes, exactly. Whatever. That that but is like, yeah. yeah. We have a lot of people that say that, but yeah, I but like also pink on girls and blue on boys and green on boys and girls and I'm not an orange on any baby. So I can't find <laughs> <laughs> the tutti frutti. Remember not that tutti frutti? Oh, that the with the little well, pops of orange. Yeah. That, that was, that was aqua and orange. No, no, they, they just did you the it color. It was such a cute color too. Um, we had, we had some skates lingering around for a little bit. That was awesome. Oh, yes. so, somebody Pops bought of orange them on a white and background. made a blanket. Yeah, They're awesome. Well, orange and yellow and aqua. It was the cutest, happiest color. Yeah, we they have some new cute happy. Again, we're talking about King Cole. We're talking They've about got King some Cole. New cute happy great, colors. Great acrylic yarn, um, mm -hmm. great baby colors, and also some nice sophisticated like browns and and oh the grays. the laurel. The green. Well, the green. It's a really pretty it's green. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and we definitely expanded into, you know, it, it's it's always sold really well for us. It makes great, um, you know, easy care blankets. Wears yeah. like so, iron. Yeah. And looks fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, we have, I don't know, about 20 colors of that now. Yeah. And so we have a pretty extensive palette, even black. And you yeah. can check it out online at shopyarnia.com right. if you want to see what it is or you can't make it to the store. Yeah, yeah. it's you definitely worth it. And good, affordable yeah yeah hard wearing we've good. carried it since day one which tells yeah. you something yeah. there aren't you know we've not i mean we've had a lot of good decisions earlier yeah. on too. not not too many duds but this is one without hesitation when we get low we reorder we don't even discuss it it's yeah. one of those things where you know we always said from the beginning especially because in our previous location we were such a tiny little jewel box store that we could only carry things that we loved and we still only really carry things that we love because even mm -hmm. though we're in a larger space now just because you know, well, we, yeah. we, learned, we learned for three years to do that. Yeah. So you know, if we don't love it, yeah, 
No one Why else would is we expect love it. you to love it? Exactly. And, like, and there's mo- many of us. <laughs> Speaking of things we love and restock. My other. Yeah. Oh, check out Amanda's. Yeah. I'm wearing, I didn't finish this this week. I finished this uh, two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but a year and a half. How many years have you been podcasting? Two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. It's It's been a while. It's been a while. This was uh, my last minute cast off before our first wool walk. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. I was like trying to finish so I could wear it to the wool walk. Um, But this is Zweig by Caitlin Hunter. Um, I love that sweater. Yeah. I love it too. And I used Ancient Art Sock NATO for Mm -hmm. this sweater, um, which is beautifully soft um i get it's super wash fingering weight but very plump and plush yeah um so it makes a nice fabric uh for for this kind of sweater um so it has color work at the top in little wild little things. wild things and i think french lilac is yeah. this one which yeah. we have um we still have three more skeins i mm-hmm. think of french yeah. lilac and we have a lot more skeins of little wild things because we, yeah. we just restocked. Because well, we just restocked. We just restocked. We'll talk about that. In we'll get to that in a minute. Right. Yeah, I've got I've got a bunch of it right here to show you later. <laughs> do you have other whips? I do have other or finished whips. Up. Or finished objects. I do not have other finished objects. I do not. We were a little late on the finished objects this time. Yeah, do you want to start with whips? Yeah. Let's start on your whips. Um, so I will talk about my socks that I brought. Um, because, well, I would have a half object. But... Um, last Monday, we started the Vanilla Sock mm-hmm. Knit Along. So as a little sub project within our larger mm-hmm. sock bingo, which is going on all year long. Um, Through the end of 2021. That's yeah. right. Literally. Yeah. So um, there's, you know, we had several people who have never knit their first sock before. So what better way to do it than with a knit along? Mm-hmm. Yay. Mm-hmm. Yay. So. We cast on on August 2nd. Um, you can still join in. So I cast on, we cast on, we had our cast on party on mm-hmm. August on. 2nd. I'm sending out weekly newsletters. We have a Ravelry group. All the support you need to cast on your first sock and knit your first vanilla, vanilla sock. And this sock counts for several squares on the Yarnia sock bingo. bingo right. There's, it's a, well, I'm knitting Helen Stewart's Simply Curious Sock, which is a top-down plain vanilla sock with a heel flop and gusset. Um, Helen Stewart writes her patterns, all of them, to be on Magic Loop. I'm knitting mine on DPNs because I'm team DPN. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so it's, uh, and let's see, what are the sock bingo things that would check off? Self-striping or self-patterning, yeah, so, which patterning, is one yeah. square. Fingering what, weight. Mm-hmm. What's your ribbing? Um, well, this, yeah, the pattern calls for a twisted rib, uh-huh. so that's so one. That's one. Um, it's top down. It is top, top down. It's four. Heel flap and gusset. Mm-hmm. It's five. Right? DPNs. Did you say that already? Yeah, whatever needle, needle, needle choice. So mm-hmm. it's a good, it's a good um, sock to like check off lots yeah. of, yeah. lots of the squares. Um, but anyway, so... Since I'm leading a knit along, I and we're our next meeting is August sixteenth. Your birthday. Um, it is my birthday. Yay! <laughs> um, our next part is turning a heel. Mm-hmm. So I've got to the point where I can demonstrate turning a heel. On um, this sock, we'll start, and this has. I just finished the leg of the sock. I'm ready to start a heel flap. So we'll go through how to start a heel flap on mm-hmm. August. 16th mm-hmm. um, at 7:30. The actually the um, the invitation to like to sign up isn't there anymore because it started on August 2nd. But if you want to jump in, just email hello at shopyarnio.com and I can add you in to the group. Somebody did sign up yesterday. Yeah, I think really? people actually can go back. It like if go, you go back to the begin, back to August second on the calendar, you can go well, backwards. And you know what? Cool. It might also be because if they signed up using a link in the newsletter, there's the link. The link, yeah. The link is the still link live. Might be easier. Um, so, so if you smart. get our newsletter, it's really easy to. It's sign both up. online and in person. It yes. is in person. Yeah. Here or for yes. in person. So yes. So the the meetups um, are both in the store. Uh, if you're in the store, you have to wear a mask. Um, and stay masked the whole time. 
and we're you know we're spread out we're not like this yeah we, by far most of our participants have been virtual yeah and yeah. then virtual is zoom and I have mm -hmm. my phone which is like an overhead camera as well as the computer you're on the earbud of my ear and um, so you yeah. can ask questions and then the you nice thing about that too. is that you recorded I recorded it yeah Exactly. And it's so available you catch the first to one. everybody who's signed up. It's yeah. not a video that's like publicly available. So, yeah. you know, um, it, I, because obviously we're seeing other people's faces yeah, besides exactly. ours. It's not, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you have to be but, a member of the Knit Along to, that's right. to be. Yeah. Um, but the Knit Along is access. free. It's and you're going to learn you how join. to turn, turn a heel. Yeah. A heel. So, this one, I've got to the point to start a heel flap. And then this one, just like when Martha Stewart take, says, like, now I've made a cake and it's in the thing. Put it in the oven. And here's the finished cake. <laughs> that's right. That's my heel flap here. Very um, nice. There I've turned the go. heel. Or no, uh, I've done the heel Finish flap here. Recent. Ready to turn the heel here. Um, so I'll do that, which is short. It's short and that's it's quick. live and you can see exactly what those directions mean. Yes. Because yep. uh, if it's your first sock, you're going to be like, It's so funny. That's what? one of my favorite parts of making the sock. I don't yeah. know why I love like the heel magic. turn. It's like, Me too. It's pretty um, cool. And then at the end of that one, I'll pick up the stitches, right? Yeah, and, we'll no, and I think that that is it. something like that kind of confused me when I first was doing socks. Like I think the the heel turn, I, I mean, you know, everyone has their thing that seems a little intimidating or whatever. But I mean, we'll be demonstrating. Yes. Um, I joined for the, the last benefits. one, and I demonstrated how I do how I start my socks on magic loop. Right. So it was good to have you know a couple of different options to yep. show yeah. people. Sadly, I will not be here next time because. Um, Haley and I are doing a little, a quick little mountain trip because she's a beach girl. I'm a mountain. Well, we both, we both will do both, but we're just getting away for a few days before she goes back to college. Nice. So perfect, nice. So we will actually be away that day. Quick but, question: What was the yarn that you're working on? Oh yeah, I'm using the Regia, uh, some of the Regia Arnie and Carlos self striping patterning mm -hmm. um, yarn. This is their new Le Fulton. Uh, line of colors, mm -hmm. which is all inspired by the Lofoten region in Norway. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So I don't remember exactly what color this one is. Um, it's the purpley one. The it's purple the pretty one. one. <laughs> I just restocked that pretty. yesterday afternoon. Yeah, yeah. We, we had sold a lot of it. We um, have over the last all week. the Lofoten line though. And we still have a few left, you know, at least a few left of each color. Yeah. So they ha actually um, had a podcast on their channel about their trip. To, well, First of all, last summer they had like nine or ten episodes about their trip to La Fulton in their little VW bug. Mm -hmm. It's super cute. That's the um, cutest thing. And it's like going on a summer trip. Uh -huh. I like just watch them and they go on all sorts of activities, horseback riding on the beach and like all these fishermen. Oh my God, I like do that. <laughs> yeah, it's super nice. Um, but then all the stops along the way inspired parts of this Different yard color line, ways. Yeah. Um, which is really fun to sort of like have that connection back. And we showed a bunch of those in a recent episode. Yes, right? we yeah, showed, yeah, yeah, one of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll I'll just mention since you know I've talked about this one a little bit. Um, this is spun right round. My new favorite sock yarn. <laughs> this cool. is the dive bar colorway. Is oh, this so that nice. colorway too? So so in in line with my theme of wanting to make every you know socks uh -huh. out of every pair, every color of spun right round that we have. Um, I originally got dive bar to do with. Um, Haley and I got a mini skein kit from right, Spun Right yeah. Round that we're going to make some kind of stripey or fadey or something socks still to be determined. I can talk about that later. But um, when I needed another sock to cast on to demonstrate Magic Loop during the knit along, I was like, you know what? I'm going to have enough of that. I'm only using this for heels and toes on my stripey socks. I'll do it. I'm I'm now thinking about not using this for the stripey or the heels and toes. But I love it. I love this color. And I realized... Color. Um, it's going to be perfect with the leftovers from my glazed pecan oh from my, my last Helen Sarah that socks. Is, is so that pretty. That's so pretty? Be so pretty. So like these, this is my new sock obsession. That would be a pretty spine. That mm -hmm. would be a pretty spine. Oh my spine. god, that would oh. be cool. that? <gasps> If we you have, have, have more of this coming, we do have more glazed pecan <laughs> yes. coming. If you're oh, an earth tone, oh, no. earth tones, cool. Oh, earth oh, tone. Yeah. Kathleen's going to end up be really pretty Oh my god. <laughs> it would be so, a pretty swag. Um, I did not, I'm not following the exact same pattern as Amanda is in the knit along. I'm doing um, Sock Witchery String of Lights pattern, which oh, cool. um, I love it. Lindsay, who I met on one of the Crazy Sock Ladies uh, Summer Sock Camp Zooms. She's the uh, counselor for the Magic Loop Cabin. Oh, <laughs> which, so we're both Magic Loop girls. 
Um, she's got a really fun podcast too, Sock Witchery. Check it out. Yeah. But yeah, it's just, it's a really, you know, a straightforward kind of simple, just keep your interest pattern. Isn't that sweet? String of lights. So it's, it's just, really cute. Is it know, a garter rib? Um, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Love yeah, that. Three by oh. one garter rib. And um, I don't remember if she does twisted rib. I don't think she does. I think she does two by two I or something. I do like a but twisted rib though. Love my twisted rib. I'm yeah. definitely, after making as many socks as I have this year, I'm... I've kind of narrowed down what my like Your all my preferred. preferences are. It's I mean, just, that's that's kind of how you learn what you like, yeah, right? Yeah. You try different things, and then try it all out. You know, some things you just gravitate toward. But um, yeah, so I'm working on this, and I'm going to do. I may do this as afterthought. See, this is when I was thinking I would do the flegal heel, but I no, I, no, no, I definitely no, yeah. I need to use the contrast. So you need I'll to use do the contrast. Maybe I'll finally do the shadow wrap heel with this one. We'll see. Yeah, the shadow wrap we'll would work see. well. Yeah. So anyway, that is that is one of my whips. Oh yeah, like actually what Amanda was talking about. Yeah. Are there other reps? Well, um, there are. Do you want to talk about your sock project? Okay. Yeah, let's talk about socks. So this is my current whip. I don't Apparently, have we're now all socks all the time. Um, <laughs> but that's okay because I do have another whip that is just not on the needles yet, and it's going to be a ranunculus in Zoe. Oh. Cotton linen. We can talk about those at the same time. Yeah, let's talk about those at the same time because I haven't. But let's finish talking about socks. No, let's talk about the ranunculus first because this is okay. going to be so long. I'm going to go in so deep. Okay, oh, okay, true, okay. True. then let's finish, yeah. let's finish All right. socks. And let's then, finish. No, wait. No, let's finish. So I don't have anything to show for another, the ranunculus. I have two more whips. All right. I'm going to do the ranunculus and Zoe. You'll see that next time. Um, All right. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, let's do yeah. And then All right. we do your so whips and then we'll I do my I thought socks. I would... We plan things in this. advance, can't you tell? We're <laughs> ready so to wear. We're so all over the place. <laughs> so I would have this ready to wear. This is my ranunculus and Zoe. Oh, and look how cute. The honeybee color, which they have discontinued, oh, sadly. I'm so glad you got the honeybee color. But, uh, yeah, yes, I that's bought such the a last you. of it when we found out that it was not coming back. It's such a you color. We have another color. They have another color that's almost exactly the same. It's a slightly brighter shade of yellow. Yep. But actually, we have sold a lot of Zoe this summer. We really have a lot of people who have used... Um, I love that yarn. It's a great for, summer. Yarn. It, it really, really is. is nice. It's so, nice to work with too. I, yeah, I don't know. I must not somehow. I must not have had as many knitting hours in the last two weeks as I usually do <laughs> because I feel stuff. like I got. I didn't really get that much this done. Is like pretty I far. You got to a. I know, I, I divided. Divide. But you know what? I guess I'm I'm comparing myself, which I know we shouldn't compare ourselves, right? But Seisha finished like two ranunculuses in two weeks, so I'm like, yes, I can do this. She I can was have teaching it done. the ranunculus class. I know, she had I know. to finish. That's yeah. like yeah. when you're on no, a deadline. These are two she made after the class. Oh well, then I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> She's just really fast. She's really fast, and she probably <laughs> maybe she had a little more knitting time in those two weeks than I did. So yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm really loving it, and I definitely should wear it next time because yeah. there's no way. Um, Talk oh. to me about what you did with sizing, because that's what I that's what I've been a little stuck with. I was uh -huh. looking at the pattern and yeah. the, the the size options. It started out once upon a time. It was like one size fits. It's it one was one size, size but yeah. then she added like there's an additional like added, PDF of that, and mm -hmm. I'm I'm just trying to figure out what I mm -hmm. want. So basically, like, so if you bought the pattern originally, did it update? And now you yes, yeah, I think, yeah, I think you can. Update. Yeah, that's yeah, you can uh, just because yeah, if you bought it through Ravelry, which I don't know if she was selling it anywhere else right um it yeah it now when i downloaded it, it i got all this uh, all the options all the yeah, sizes yeah. sometimes when i haven't knitted a pattern for a while and i go back to it it's like oh there's new things it's completely new yeah <laughs> um so basically the bust on the the original size is about 50 okay and my bust is about 50 yeah so um I obviously needed to do the bigger size, you know, the do the, the, she calls it, you know, larger bust adjustments or something. So I read through that and I said, you know what? I don't even know if I need to do that. I yeah. just cast on some extra stitches under the arms. Okay. Honestly, because you want it to be loose fitting. Yeah. So I cast on, um, it says six stitches under the arms. I cast on three, uh, six extra stitches. So I've got 12 under each arm. Okay. And I think what I will do for the sleeves though is not pick all of them up. I don't want the sleeves to be floppy. Yeah. So for the sleeves, I might do like you know knit two together's or yeah. something across pick there. Pick them all up and then just. Yeah. Exactly. Pick, exactly. Pick them all up and decrease on the next round probably. Yeah. Um, and I this does have just like a little rolled sleeve. That's the way the pattern is written. Basically, you get if you're doing the short sleeve version, you get to the point where you you know put them aside and then you or you actually just bind them off. Yeah. Uh, I'm using my like a uh, interchangeable cord tip. This is the 16 inch, you know, the, yeah. the size that makes the 16 inch needle. 
telling you guys, it is perfect for um, putting sleeves on hold. I love yeah. it. I never use waist yarn. I don't, waist yarn always annoyed me for that. I, I don't know. I like the waist yarn when I'm doing long sleeves because then I can keep it in and if I screw up or me I need to measure, I have a, a starting point. Yeah. Right. But if you're doing short sleeves or you're, yeah. you know. I just I, I just, have more faith in your ability to not skirt up. <laughs> I use waist yarn because I can never find the things in my house, but I can always find some yarn. Yeah, yeah. there's always yeah. some yarn that's mm -hmm. floating around. Well, I right. now have a set of these that just is in a bag that says, you know, Shucks 16 inch. Thing. That's that's just what it's for. So it's for organized. a sweater. Uh, sort of. <laughs> so are you going to do... 10% <laughs> like of my life is so organized. The other 90% is complete chaos. You just ignore the chaos behind the door. It's like, like, yeah, like I said, this, this yeah. is part of the 10% that's like hyper organized. So you're going to do... Are you going to do ribbing? So I'm going to do... I'm going to do like a couple of rounds and then I'm going to do ribbing to match the collar. Gotcha. Because I think... I just I like, like that. that look. And actually that's what Sasha did too. I like um, that look. I like I, a little bit of yeah. ribbing. I like the ribbing. I like it like, yeah. you know, Amanda. It's a little bit of... Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Well, it's going to look a lot like that. Yeah. Mine yeah. Mine was like... I started out thinking I was going to make long sleeves. I remember. Yeah. Like, but it's, it's a great... It's a great length. Oh, length. so you've committed. Yeah. It's yeah. short sleeve. Yeah. I do have another almost full skein at home that I think mm -hmm. I'm going to make socks with because... It's almost a full skin. I think it's cute as a short sleeve. I like yeah. a short sleeve sweater. I like yeah, yeah. I, this is, you know, for a summer sweater, it's perfect. Uh, you know, this is, it's always cotton linen. Um, so, yeah, so that was really all I did. I so just maybe I'll do the some same extra. thing. And just, it's just, you know. Because I'm like, it's, it's, it's exactly, we're about the same size. Yeah. And, yeah. like, that's exactly what I was debating, where I was like, how much ease do I want? I don't want, yeah. you know, obviously, I'm not like the, the skinny mini over here who's like, you know, wearing a 50 inch sweater is going to have like 12 inches of ease. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and like, one, one thing I found too, like, you know, the recommended ease for this is like 10 to 12 inches or something. Yeah. Um, and I found this out when I made my Soldatna. I, and, you know, everyone, like, some people may, you know, who are larger may want. Still want 10, 12 yeah, inches. If that's what you like, go for it. Like this is, I'm not saying this is what everyone should do. This is what I like. Yeah. Um, because I am a larger size, I prefer less ease, even in yeah. something with a lot of ease. And I, I wound up redoing the body of my Soldatna, um, you know, tapering it in. It's, it's got like maybe three inches of ease now. I love it. I wear yeah. it all the time in the fall. It's just, you got to figure out what works for you and then do that. Yeah. So like I want the ease here. Mm-hmm. This Rather is, than here. This is going to have about six inches of ease. Well, oh, that's you perfect. Know, at, the, at the gauge. It's three and a half stitches to the inch, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm so. going to, now I know. That answers all <laughs> of my questions. Cool. So this is good. That's so right. maybe I'll have something like next time we podcast. Maybe we'll wear matching ranunculuses. Yay! That would be fun. Yeah. I don't know that I'm going to get that far. <laughs> you might. I, I'm, I'm telling you. If I, if I had actually worked on this more. Yeah. Um, Not that. You know, there's a sock. Yeah, well, I know maybe. that's the thing. It's like, well, and and this is the other thing. And I know we don't want to spend all the time in the socks, but this picture, this was in the newsletter the other day. I love I, this. The other, the reason I don't have too many finished objects or anything is I've been playing around with what to do with these socks. Oh, that's the thing. Super cute. These are so, your spun right round. These are my yeah. So and we can we can grab. There's a shot got, that's in yeah, the newsletter. I'll, I'll put a picture in here. Yeah. So, and it's in the Kitchener stitch pouch. Yes. Oh yes. yes. Which we have a we limited just, number of those. Yeah. I can't believe they're really getting rid of them. It sounds I like. I don't know. Uh, you never know. But yeah. they're not. I can't get any more. Right if now. you like it, get it now. Somebody ordered four yesterday. Oh, smart! <laughs> wow, smart. <laughs> that when I came in, it was like, oh yeah, she knows how cool those are. Smart yeah. lady. So I'm actually, I don't know. I'm playing around with what to do with this. I was thinking I may do like a series of two sets of like six row stripes through mm -hmm. Ooh, the thing, like leg cute. and a foot, do the same. Or actually Haley um, sent me something on Instagram that was basically somebody doing something like this, but alternating, like making micro stripes with <gasps> alternating with um, a neutral. So maybe I'll do the crema, the oh, um, yeah, Mano Salagri and do crema. You helical stripes with a crema. Oh, that, that so they kind of do the so same. pretty. Yeah, that's kind of the way I'm leaning. So anyway, oh my gosh, I love that I've idea. I've done like five different things with these and not not landed on any of them as I keep thinking my next idea is going to be the one so yeah well, you know but this is the nice thing fine. about yarn you can always pull it out yeah much better than fabric where you have to yeah. cut it you in. cut it and then you can't you can't put it yeah. back together mm -hmm. which is my crisis mm -hmm. um what do you have um well just a quick update because I gave a long update about my mom's sweater yes yeah, yeah that was great I love nice that oh yeah. yeah but I divided for sleeve yeah so that's, my, that's my update it's like the sleeve divide week it is. <laughs> it's the great divide. Um, <laughs> there's your title. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, so now I, I have 
proper sleeves, which also mm -hmm. means I don't have all the purling back and forth anymore on these mm -hmm. sleeves. Yes. Because yes. yep. um, a lot of the body, I mean, there's still some um, stockinette on mm -hmm. the sides, um, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of garter on the front panels and the back panels, God bless which her. is all... Yeah. So, it's yeah, really it's beautiful. I so really pretty. love. I like love this. the yarn combo. I love, and I love what you came up with to get your gauge and everything, yeah. and, and a I fabric your mom is gonna like. The, it feels great. The sleeve details look beautiful. It's extremely tailored. It is. It's whole. a lovely tailored. You have a nice fabric for such a tailored item. Like beautiful stitch definition, and I mm -hmm. love the squishy garter. Yeah. Yep. It's gonna look I cool. love the She's collar a, and everything. It's like so pretty. This there's like a, a little eye like cord thing. eye cord detail. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's it a really, really beautiful. It's a beautiful pattern. This is the Ripple Jacket by Hinterstein. Um and the pattern it's is lovely. just like very, 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 very detailed. There's yeah. like yeah. step one, right? And it's like this band. And then step two, it's like yeah. steps you through every single part mm -hmm. um, of this contiguous construction. Mm -hmm. I love so. contiguous. Yeah. It I, definitely gives you a good shape. Yeah. And this is the thing. It's like, I feel like people get used to, or knitters get used to the idea of like, everything needs to be like a top down raglan or a top down round yoke. But mm -hmm. like these kinds of different kinds of construction give you different kinds of looks and you can do something that's very tailored mm -hmm. yeah. and it doesn't have to be, I mean, the it reason doesn't be seen doesn't have to be seamed either. And, but mm -hmm. the reason that like raglans and round yokes are very easy to do because, I mean, they're very easy to do. Um, they accommodate a lot of different sizes with the amount of ease in the, in the sweater. So you don't have to worry about fit in the same way. But you can also, like if that's not your vibe, like you can also get a different look. You just have to, you know, pay attention to the details yeah. and choose your patterns wisely. It's not my mom's vibe. She doesn't like, you know, like t-shirts and things like that. Mm -hmm. she, yeah. like, she wears collared shirts. She's more structured. Mm -hmm. She's tailored. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So yeah. this cool. fits her personality much better. Um, and I think she's really going to enjoy it. So now I've divided for sleeves. That's the hardest part I feel yeah. like done. Mm -hmm. You did I'm all the hard work. Along, yep. Zipping yep. along till the holidays. I've got that's awesome. all fall Yay. to work on this. So um, what yarn are you doing it in? So this is a combo because what I, when I was, my mom, I, I talked about this before, right? Like yeah. she's a color me beautiful girl. I'm like mm -hmm. this piece. She's a spring. I was like, oh yeah. She's yeah. a spring. Okay. You're exactly. a spring, right? No, I'm an autumn. No, she's you're an autumn. autumn. I'm yeah. a, I'm but a, but you, you go for the pinks and everything. I usually. know. I, yeah. I don't break. I just break. I'm a rule breaker too. You get, I just get a red hat. Yeah. Off the I'm, but you're a warm I'm autumn. such an autumn. Yeah. I'm a winter. <laughs> I used to I have, can't imagine. Did anyone else have all, I had all the swatches and everything. I, my mom. Yeah. yeah, I, my, yeah. Mom my mom's an autumn. I, I loved, oh. that was so fun. Does she still have her swatches? She oh might. My I my probably mom do somewhere. Has. I don't know. Mom, if you still have your I... swatches, comment below. I will walk you through <laughs> how to comment. Just text me. <laughs> Call me and I will walk you through how to text me. I'll have me. to see if I can find one. I have an idea of where they might be. She knows how to text. <laughs> she has no idea how to comment They're on so YouTube. Fun. And she won't. It is, um. it is sort of fun to like think about what colors look good on you, but I don't yeah. know. I just knit what I like, yeah, which yeah. is a lot of movie. But I do feel like I pull a lot towards like the more browny tones of colors. Mm -hmm. You absolutely like, skew like warm colors. Yeah, even if it's pink, it's like mm -hmm. brownie pinks, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I do think I remember even like back in the day, like there there are people who can wear multiple palettes. Right. I, yes. I think you can do both autumn and spring. Probably. I think you're, yeah. But like orange, I don't wear orange because I've got reddish mm -hmm. hair, and mm -hmm. it just looks like I, I don't like, wear orange. Like I feel Technically, like I everyone be wears army green. Yeah. Everyone knows I but wear you orange. You look great in orange because you've got. Yeah, like, no, you. It's like it's the perfect yeah, it's color. Bright, yeah. It's, yes. It's I I was. Putting away my laundry the other day, I have six orange t-shirts in my t-shirt pile. That's so funny. all different shades yeah. and like some prints and things. Oh my god! Oh, that's funny. I do love my orange. Yeah. So your yarn that you're using. Sorry. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Again, we digress. So, yeah, we were Haley and I were watching a podcast the other day, and somebody else said that. I'm trying to remember who it was. We digress. Like, yeah, like, but, but it digress. was. Oh, it was Amy Beth. We were watching oh. the Good Squirrel Speaks. Oh, oh, I yeah. love Amy love Beth. Love her so much, yeah. She is such a ray of sunshine. 
just <laughs> a ring of sarcastic sunshine. A smart which is so sunshine. Hard. There which you is go. My kind which of sunshine. Is exactly. Sorry. Exactly. Poor Amanda cannot actually get out the yarn. <laughs> which is... That's okay. That's okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh yes. So sometimes we pick out a pattern that we like, right? And then you have to go find a yarn to match it. Sometimes you find the yarn you really like, and you got to find the pattern to match it. Yeah. Um, I would strongly suggest not getting your heart set on both at the same time. Yeah. Mm, or that, that, can that be hard. will set you up for disappointment. Yeah. yeah. Um, but in this case, I knew this pattern was good for my mom. I had picked out like three or four for her to like decide on, and she yarn picked this one. Or patterns. Pattern yeah. options, and she picked this one. So then it was a matter of like finding the yarn that fit well with this pattern, um, and she really liked this color. Mm -hmm. um, which is Rowan Cash Cotton Cashmere. Cotton Cashmere, yeah. Um, which is a cotton a cashmere blend. Lovely to work with. Yes. Um, but it's too light for the pattern because this is uh, knit on a, well, this is a six. Um, but it's, dense. it's, a, it's, dense, a it's supposed to be a dense, heavier gauge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to be more of a worsted gauge. So I'm putting another yarn with it. So I'm using the LRA. Mm -hmm. uh, rustic, rustic silk, silk. Yeah. yeah, which is not shiny silk, mm -hmm. um, and it has a little dappling. In it. I love how it's, it's, such it's a the, the little flex throughout. It really, yeah. I mean, the cotton cashmere color is pretty, but the two of them together, it just brings it to another level. Yeah. You know it's what? It's really it, nice. It's like a tweed. Jacket. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is like a tweed it's jacket. Like, yeah, it's like a coral look. tweed. Jacket. It doesn't have yeah. like the Chanel jacket shape, but it has that Chanel jacket fabric look. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially with the garter, like you get the tech. I love it. Yeah, yeah. so nice. This it's is gonna gorgeous. be nice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna enjoy knitting on this. I have enjoyed knitting on this, although I have to focus on it, which is sort of a challenge. I know. Yeah. It's like we're, we're getting up to like, you know, in a couple of weeks it's gonna be September and I'm like, oh crap, I've got some things I've gotta do for... Right. No, yeah. I have to focus because every single row has action on it. Those, mm -hmm. like, those mm -hmm. I-cord bands. Yeah, yeah are moving mm -hmm. and like they're shaping on every row and I just have to focus. Yeah. It's yeah. not hard. It's not a knit night. It's just hard. finding that, that right. time to, yeah, it's we're not, not going like, to be interrupted. And, it's not yeah. like zooming along. And then yeah. my one other whip, yeah. which I haven't showed yet. Ooh. Um, oh yeah. Oh fun. Yeah. Is I'm going oh, to visit my it. grandmother um, next week and I wanted to bring her a little lap blanket. That's so, so pretty. It's not that big. It's not going to be that big. It might... I love the color. Actually, I don't. I'm not going to have this on our next podcast. So oh, no. maybe I'll you'll take a picture. Yeah, I definitely yeah. will take a picture. I hope I get to see her, and it's not like locked down. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah. we will see. Um, but I figure I'll put another. What's that? Five inches? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Around mm -hmm. maybe, and that'll be plenty because she's mm -hmm. um, she's in a wheelchair now, and you know. It, it'll be nice just to yeah, like, it'll like oh, tuck I don't, in right. something pretty. I don't yeah. want it to be like dragging on the floor no, or anything like that. getting caught on the wheels or anything. Yeah. Yeah. And I made it in worsted. So A, it goes faster and B, it does like give you warmth without having all these layers and floppiness. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to have the weight. Mm -hmm. Like if you yeah, have a lap yeah. blanket, it's, like it's, nice to, it's nice to feel the weight sometimes. I love a weighted blanket. Yay. Yeah. So we all really know pretty. I love my hooked on sunshine. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. I love the colors. It's so I, fun. I'm very happy. I love that like pinky red and aqua together. Yeah. So this is Sugarbush Bold, um, and I picked the aqua and the white and the rose color. I like the rose. So, so fun. I thought that I like she that. likes bright colors. She's always it's like really, it's been a fun like combo. a bright color yeah. person. It's such a fun. Yeah. So I thought these looked really nice together. I used. Three different patterns. Wow. <laughs> Just all Mash hooked them on all sunshine. Together. Yes, exactly. Well, Hooked on Sunshine has the Hooked on Grannies pattern, which I want to do for our crochet along here. That'd be fun. Next yeah. year. Mm -hmm. It's a good um, idea. It's a series of like 15 different squares. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if we do one, it might take a year and a half to go through them all if we do one mm -hmm. a month. Mm -hmm. But yeah, then you just, you know, if you love the square, knit it. Or crochet, crochet it a bunch of times. four times yeah. in a month, right? If you're you like do fifteen different blankets, true. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just or do if a, you get to one, you can do one. blanket. You do one. Yeah, yeah, or if you get whatever. if you do one and you're like, oh, this is a challenging square, and one is enough, then you just do one. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that's the nice thing about squares. I think is like you really have the flexibility to 
mm-hmm. you know. And also, if you're pushing yourself, you, you know it ends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it and does after end. not too long. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're like, uh. This is fair. Yeah, so this is the Claire Squel- Square from the Hooked on Grannies. Mm-hmm. And then um, this white section here is part of the Atlanticus pattern, which I did for Teddy's mm-hmm. blanket. His baby um, blanket. I made his baby blanket out of Cherish DK. Um, but yeah, I'm, I just picked up that and put in some of this, what, linen stitch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so pretty. That's um, great. And then I wanted something with texture, and she has a new pattern. Touch me, to da 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 touch me. <laughs> and I'm the one who gets beat. And I'm not the one quoting Rocky Horror. <laughs> That's the name of the pattern. That's so True. funny. <laughs> so I was going to, because it's um, also intended for people with like Alzheimer's and dementia and things like that, where they get the that stimul yeah, uh-huh. the tactile, tactile. Stimul- mm-hmm. stimulation is good. Um, but I realized once I got the pattern and looked at it, that, oh, this isn't crocheted flat back and forth, and I'm doing it in the round. So then I looked for her other patterns um, and found Wachimakala, which is a repeating pattern, so it has, you know, like 15 rows or so to repeat multiple times, but it has nice bobbles on it. So Ooh. the row after this one is going to add some aqua bobbles, which I'll do you know, a couple times or whatever, um, and that'll be my little texture bits on the That's edge. That's lovely. Um, so that's it's just fun, yeah. yeah really and pretty. it's going really fast. Um, Whoops! But one detail that I love is um, the way you've got the pink coming under the white yeah. there. It's it's just such a happy piece. It's really pretty. Yeah. yeah. This is that's a hooked on sunshine like trademark to have the little oh, cool. I back know that one. Um, back post. Uh huh. Oh, it's yeah. stitches. Uh-huh. Yeah, that make that like line pop out. It's it's really like pretty. um like a running stitch almost. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it, it looks, looks so like pretty. exactly. Yeah. I love the Hooked on Sunshine stuff. I haven't done any of them, but oh, I just love looking they at look them. So they're, they're so yeah. lovely. They're so fun. Um, so fun. And yeah, we're going to Texture have a fun time. We're going to have a fun cool. time as Team Yarnia working on a Hooked on Sunshine. I think pattern. that is such a good idea. So look for next that in the year, future. Next year. That'll be a 2022 yeah. thing. 2022. Hooked yeah, on Sunshine. Yeah, I have my dance cards full for the rest of this year. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mine too. When I came across something that I'm committed to by December, it's like, oh yeah, like, forgot oh, about that. Whoops. Oops. Yeah. And, and I made my alpaca them. in my bag, which matches. I love the alpaca yeah. in my bag. We still have those, right? Yeah, we do. We they have, are we have waterproof, hand, y'all. We have a handful from yeah. Sweat, but. These um, are all these goodies. Yeah. They're it, waterproof bags. They're great for like great wet for the bags. beach or going to the pool. Projects. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Abby took one to camp because they go oh, swimming oh, and. So you know, your swimsuit, once you're done, you still have to put it in your backpack and go around the rest of the day. And so she just puts it in her sweat bag and then it doesn't get everything mm-hmm. else in her backpack. Damp. Yeah. Good idea. Smart. All right. Any more? We ready for, ready for mine? That's all me. Okay. So mine is, this is why I get easily distracted. <laughs> um, welcome to Jen's. Welcome to my project. Yeah. Um, well, so. I was going to say, Professor, Professor Bunnell is now yes. in <laughs> Sock. Let's all sit back. My grandfather was a professor. Comparative sock literature. Comparative exactly. sock literature is now in session. Um, For sure. Okay, so this all sparked because um, this is like a sock heel thing. But this all started because Stacia and I were talking about afterthought heels and how we don't like how any of them fit our heel. Because neither one of us really love how a short row heel fits our heel. And afterthought heels tend to fit the way a short row heel fits in socks. And the reason we were talking about that, and I think I can say it now, is that we are getting an Erlbacher gear knitting machine that will, sock your heart, yeah. that sock knitting machine that will crank the little crank sock tubes. tubes. And yeah. then so we can do afterthought heels, afterthought, um, everything we yeah. could do, you could do arm warmers. And so we are so excited, sleeves, we can't wait. You can. You can. Get your sleeves. Oh, so oh, we will be, in the next coming months, you will be able to see our sparkly orange sock tube knitting machine Hello, in babe. store. And for, um, we can crank your fingering weight yarn into socks tubes or arm warmer tubes. After whatever. we practice a little bit. After we practice yeah, a little we, bit. Yeah, we gotta so get. There's a, there's a learning curve. We gotta um, get our technique down. And we'll be doing the cranking and for a small fee and then think of it this way, you can crank out like a, ba- literally crank out, <laughs> a bajillion hand knit socks for the holidays, 
So you and could all do, you need to do is your heels and toes. No, yeah. you could do a pair of hand knit socks each night of Hanukkah. You could. <laughs> My God, yeah. how fun would that be? I would love that. Yeah. No, I mean a lot of times too. It's like you see the color, you love it, and you know no. you don't have time to knit it. Right. But now you will you have time do. to knit it, which is great. So what I started doing is that I opened up a Google document and I started doing some research both with sock books that I had, knitting books that I had, some historical knitting books that I had, and also the internet, bless the internet, about <laughs> all different kinds of afterthought heels and uh, heels and toes. Toes were really toes straightforward. Are easy, toes, right? are, toes, toes are pretty Toes are straightforward. Yeah. Toes are toes, right? There's and like to five toes are different. so easily adjustable too. Like totally. Toes are, yeah. like, and also like you can put them on and be like, do shorter longer right yeah. so but i yeah. but i put the toes in as well but looking at the afterthought heels i was like well you know what there's also like a bajillion other different ways to turn heels and some of them are kind of like overlapping so then i added in short row heels and then i added a section for you know heel flap and gusset so now i have a 25 page document <laughs> with all of these different types of different heels and I was like okay I'm gonna standardize this document did all this work blah 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 and then I started knitting them then she started making all because I'm heels. insane <laughs> I'm it's, insane it's pretty amazing it's actually um you know. this is all in the last <laughs> this is since it's the really last podcast fast. wow for wow. a for a girl who has left sleeves undone <laughs> for two years three years you know? now three, three years three years <laughs> it's remarkable the volume of sock heels you've done in yeah. like two weeks welcome to undiagnosed adhd <laughs> where basically it's like hyper focus squirrel yes. squirrel <laughs> squirrel let me do more heels let me do more so I am using West Yorkshire spinners and milk bottle is the white. I love I each... love the way you've color coded this. Thank you. I love a color coding oh, and yes. uh, Sasha helped me pick colors as Fun. well. Um, so these are what I am doing. These are little heel samples. Each so cool. of the so the top by the cuff has two by two rib. The bottom by the foot has one by one rib. This is consistent throughout the project. Nice. Each one the heel part, heel and gusset part, are done in color. So this is a top-down heel with a V heel or a handkerchief heel with an eye of partridge flap, garter edge, slip knot cast on, and a sewn bind off. So these are all like, you could try these on. These will all end up on display in the store. So it's like a little cuff and it, you can see how they fit. And then this mm. one is a German heel, but if you look, you can see the difference in the yeah. gusset. Uh, our, our, our video cut out of a fortuitous time, so we'll talk about these. This is Flegel. That's a top-down Flegel. Now that one you could flip and try on as a bottom-up Flegel mm. by oh, just yeah. putting the one-by-one one rib uh, on your leg. Is that why you did it that way, so you'd know? Very mm -hmm. cool. Very smart. I did it that way. I so figured, I figured there was a reason, but okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. so the two by two is the top. Two by two is the top by your leg. The one Got by it. one is by your foot. Nice. And I also mixed up the cast ons and um, the bind offs for these. Um, so you can see, like on this flegel, there's a what's the what do you call this band that comes across the top of your foot that's in color? I would say it's the instep. So yeah. basically, once you start the directions for the heel. That's when I changed the color. Once the, the heel and the gusset, if there was any, is done, then I went back to the white. The white is 10 rows of ribbing, 10 rows of stockinette, then the heel and gusset, and then 10 rows of stockinette and 10 rows of ribbing. So they're consistent throughout, but so you can so really compare the, and contrast the sizes. That's the flegel. This is the German band. Yeah, which, which I is, like the German band. But it has no blue on the end step at all. There is no gusset for the German band heel. And then this one has a narrow, like, end step section. What's this one called? The mm -hmm. Balbriggan. I like the Balbriggan. Some of them are weird. And also, the thing that I realized with some directions that are available on the internet, a lot of the heel directions come from a historical document from like the 1890s ish or wow. whatever. Wow. Where socks were often knit with a faux seam down the back in pearl stitch. So a lot of the heel directions, mm. if they're historical, 
still have that pearl stitch down the heel flap. Mm -hmm. That is a remnant, a historical remnant of the way socks were knit. And a lot of the directions for the Welsh heel that I could find online or in books uh -huh. still had that remnant. So I took that out because yeah. you don't need the pearl seam unless you're doing a faux seam. Yeah. Um, and, and why it, would people want to do that on a sock anyway? Why would you want to do that on a sock, especially unless you're continuing that down the leg, but you're not continuing that down the leg in modern sock knitting, so mm -hmm. I excise that remnant. So you also have, like, you can Ooh. see the comparison between <laughs> a flegal and then the German band, and, like, these fit very differently, mm -hmm. right? And you can see, like, it's the same amount of white so yeah, yeah. and uh, so you can you can see like if you have a narrow foot and a narrow instep this would be fine the one that i always do is essentially a variation of the french heel and so this is the one that i tend to do so mm -hmm. if i were looking for a different heel that fits similarly i would be looking oh, for an instep about yay Clever. which gives me a v heel and it also gives me a German heel. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the heel turns are different variations on the same knit to one or two stitches past the center, right? Mm -hmm. There's one that's knit to just before the center and then do your decreases. There's one that's knit to one after, two after, three after, four after. So that's one category. Then there's the band heels where you keep a band of stitches down the center and the decreases go on either side. And then there's weirdo heels that are old school, like the common heel, which fits terribly. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the way that stockings used to be done. You can see this little like dwelly bomb. Yeah, yeah. And that's because you knit a heel flap, you divide it in half, mm. you kitchener it together, and then you pick up your stitches. Wow. That doesn't fit nearly as well as a no. shaped common heel. Like uh -huh. I could seriously go on. So you should are, do you should do something. There's like a on, like when you're done, I, I'll you, go through you definitely should all do. of them and do like a boom, like let's yeah. talk about this category. If you yeah, know, yeah. Oh, I love um, this. Not, I love the look of this cool. one. I love the look. of Yes. This. Okay. So is, then <laughs> now I'm, in, I'm all about the look. The like, afterthought after heels. <laughs> so for the afterthought heels, I knit a whole bunch of the same. So these are not true afterthought heels, people, but I did not want to snip and then pick up and, like, do that for, oh, like, all 14 it, It's a planned afterthought heel. I think it counts. It's I totally yeah. think it counts. It's a forethought heel. And there basically what it is, it's for my 10 stitches of ribbing, my 10, uh, 10 rows of ribbing, 10 rows of stockinette. You knit in waist yarn over either half or two-thirds of the stitches, depending on the heel that you're doing. Interesting. And then you go back and you knit that waist yarn with your regular yarn again. And then I did the 10 rows of stockinette and my 10 rows of one by one. These I haven't put the little nice labels on because I haven't fully finished. So they just have random pieces of paper slipped in. Um, this one will be a sweet tomato heel over two-thirds of the stitches. Wow, interesting. So then I will take the waist yarn out, the little band of blue mm -hmm. out and get the stitches on and then I will have my afterthought heels which is really what I was saving I was like do I do the short row heels first or do I do the afterthought heels and I was like you know what I want the afterthought heels because I don't like short row heels um so I'm saving that for last so this one is that's a big heel it's a big heel it fits <laughs> me nicely I was very pleased this is an afterthought heel over 60% of the stitches uh. so on a 64 stitch sock uh it's 42 stitches with a centered double decrease which minimizes really that line and it goes down to a heel base of 10 stitches mm -hmm. uh has German twisted cast on and a Russian lace bind off so here's an afterthought heel that is super easy to work. This one's so pretty. Oh, that one is one also is a favorite. That one is an afterthought heel with a mini gusset. So what that is, is like little bitty short rows right in there in the little oh, corner. Okay. Oh, okay. That wow. take no time at all. And then a traditional wedge toe wedge heel so style so afterthought. Like yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. The the traditional afterthought heel is basically a wedge toe. It's another toe. It's, one, it's another toe. <laughs> it's a toe on your heel. Yeah. So, I mean, you could, if you wanted to, you could adapt this to fitting your toes too, but generally you don't need that much room in your toes. Yeah, yeah. So there's this little guy. And cool. then I also have, which I was very surprised by, a star heel. <gasps> Which oh. is basically like a it's little like the hat star top. toe. It's wow. like a star toe. Mm -hmm. How does that work? It fits lovely. Nice. I feel like that would be nice. So I did, and it's, it's very pretty. easy. There's no pretty. Kitchener. 
Oh, so yeah. if you don't like Kitchener, that's an option. This is your favorite. I did a bunch of rose plain. There's a bunch of other like tips I've and tricks. I've seen somebody recently who did toes like that too. Yes. You yeah, do... I've seen a that, that that was one of the first. I remember when I was first learning about socks. I got you know a book like some kind yeah. of sock encyclopedia or something, and I thought that was really interesting looking. I never did actually make it. But... It fits really well. <laughs> I was not convinced it would fit mm -hmm. well, and mm -hmm. that one I finished last so night. You just and pick I was up like, all oh. your stitches around and then do like a hat top. Yeah, you basically mm -hmm. you do a hat top. This one I did a slightly different rate of decrease. I used eight decrease points mm -hmm. so I knit like four rows plain and then I started the decreases and I spaced them more than every other row <laughs> so I did like mm -hmm. eight decreases and then like six rows plain and then another eight decreases and five rows plain and etc um, this one is 50% of stitches doing five rows plain and then I know. I wonder if that might toe. work better for me. It yeah, does. Yeah. It, it fits it just better. has that little... Though, again, I haven't worn any of my mini socks that I've made yet because yeah. I've made most of them in pretty warm weather. This is your traditional. This is the first one I did. It mm -hmm. is just like a wedge toe. It's every other row. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a bunch of different variations. I love the way you've made it so easy to see the differences between them. Because otherwise, I will colors. make myself crazy. No, it's, have... it's so, it's perfect. What color are you using for the short rows? I'm using gray for the short rows. Mm, because... I was wondering if you are going to do green. No, because <laughs> it makes me happy, and yeah. I like um, I like gray, and yeah, that will like encourage gray. me to use it. Plus, also, then I feel like you get, like, my favorites, my second favorites, and, like, me, gray. <laughs> I have a bias against short rows, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I love short rows, but yeah. But not, not in socks. But not enough. Not in heels. Um, and yeah, so I have a bunch of other ones to do. Oh and then I have short rows. So this is like, some of them are increasing a couple of stitches before you start the wedge heel. It's all wow. about changing the heel depth. And in my document, I also have oh, like a deep works. dive into really doing the math about how to fit your afterthought heels um, that incorporates some of the some of the research uh, but most of the math itself is Roxanne Richardson who yeah. has a really mm -hmm. great uh, YouTube channel that has a lot and website that has a lot of information about sock fitting and afterthoughts and, and you know short rows and all that kind of stuff she also just came or she her most recent uh, deep dive has been into how to fit knee socks yeah oh, interesting. to fit your calf and like she's I mean she's trying to learn ones. more about that <laughs> yeah so that they don't like slouch down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll have to so, wear them. they're very okay. autumnal my knee socks these love it, things. love it. I, and what I'm thinking about is how we're going to display these things. I want to do something cool. Yes. So I have some foam core that I'm going to see oh, if right, I can right, make little footies. Yeah. Huh. And like, you know, yeah. maybe chop them off. Mm -hmm. It's a little semi -footies. We need to make something at the top, like, you know, some kind of yeah. hanger or hole. Either or a hanger so can... or like a hole, put yeah. it on a big ring. Yeah. And like so label on the foot what they are in addition yes. to having the little clippies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come up with a display thing. Yeah, yeah. And they're so cool. So How many of them are there now? Are uh, it looks like about 20. It's about 20. It might be 24 once these oh are done. That's I feel like we something. should find somebody, or let's just get the right shape and 3D print it. Oh, that's That'd what we should cool. do. Over and over again. Yes, right? yes, over yes, and definitely. Over and over again. There is a makerspace not too far away that yeah. um, I was going to give Chena a gift certificate to at one point so he could so he play can, with he can make us 3D little, printers. Little, like, little socks. Maybe. Maybe. Little sock we'll see. We'll see. Cool. Um, oh my yeah. goodness. So this is my insanity. This is why That's I have so awesome. such cool insanity. We, we are the benefits of your yes. insanity. Yeah. I'm I really do like it. Because I've got to do an afterthought heel. And I think. Because in the color work socks that I started, yeah, which I have not made any Parker socks, mm -hmm. so I'm doing mm -hmm. all the other things. Yeah. Um, but I like this. I think that's really pretty. The that's one the, with the center double decrease. Yes. On it. Yeah, that's cool. There's another, and basically, like it'll be like mix and match, right? Like if you're doing yeah. an afterthought heel, pick the number of stitches, pick the technique you have, and then if you're doing like a wedge toe technique, pick your the decrease technique you do because you don't mm -hmm. have to do. The traditional wedge style you could do a single decrease you could do decreases that like skew into each other you can yeah. space them out 
Um, fun with socks. Fun with socks. So this will <laughs> this will end up being like a class at some point as well, uh -huh, right? Cool. Where we're like, like a okay, lecture class. Like yeah, like let's For talk sure. about like afterthought heels and like yeah. show you how to do afterthought heels and afterthought cuffs and cuffs. Cool. Cool. So wow, we well, should talk is, about our giveaway. That is a good yeah, exactly. It's a good segue into. Um, we talked earlier about you know Amanda's sweater and it is made from ancient arts yarn. We have a dozen new colors yeah. of Sakinado. They are all oh. beautiful. Oh I just, my gosh. I just love so the way that yarn feels. It, it feels like so good. I know. I, maybe I'll take one of these home today. Lovely. So our giveaway this episode is a uh, comment below yeah. and tell us your favorite color um, uh, that we have in stock of Sakinado yarn. And... Uh, some lucky winner who comments on this video with that info look at those will two. win. And look at this one. Pumpkin spice. Yeah. Pumpkin spice. So this one so. is, we have to say the colors, Yes, right? we do. We okay. do. Well, also, but they'll be on the website and they can look. You can yeah. always check on shopyarnia.com on Ancient Art Sock NATO and tell us what your favorite color of Ancient Art Sock NATO is. You are not beholden to that color. That's right. You, you, you may change your mind. Any color you want. So this is fun, right? Um, sorry, this is Pumpkin Spice. Pumpkin this Spice, is and that's, that's the Kathleen's bees. favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite. Though you've already made a pair of socks out of this, if I remember from a long time ago. I did something with that. I, th I thought, it, yeah, was I'm it not sure if it was socks or something else. I made a lot of socks. But I remember, because I think when we originally had it, like, I was, I mean, I wasn't making socks then, really, but I was like, I mean, oh, I, I should do that. Okay, like so that. you have Pumpkin Spice. The Bee's Knees. I love, we used to have Bee's Knees and Single Fingering. Exactly, I'm so glad we got it in this. It looks so pretty in that. I have, look, another fruit color. Yeah, no, I love that one. I'm going to steal this one. We still have this. one skein of Seriously Annoyed Grapes. Mm -hmm. Really Seriously Annoyed Grapes? Yeah. Really yes. Seriously Annoyed Grapes. This one is Lichen in My Crevices, which also looks great with this. Which oh, you have does. made something out of Lichen in My Crevices. Right? I don't know if I have. I may have a skein in my stash, though. <laughs> I thought she made a shawl. Maybe not. Mm, Embers sure. and Ashes. That's a nice one. We haven't had this oh, yeah. color before. This is, this to me is such an Amanda color. This is antique. Yeah, totally Ooh, that is Amanda, Amanda color. Amanda socks or something else in that. Little Wild Thing. That's that so color. I love that one. Here. It's so fun. Yeah. And Alpine Meadow, which is beautiful. Which yeah. sort of looks like walking in Wales when we it did does. those custom colors. Yep. Still not what I was looking for, though. <laughs> this is Like Louise, which is, is actually so beautiful. my fave. That's so beautiful. That. I love Antique, too. But if I was picking my favorite down mm -hmm, in the comments below, mm -hmm. I would pick Like Louise. Yeah. That's so pretty. Um, this is Irish Linen, which is Great an neutral. exceptional neutral. Oh, this would be color. beautiful and like some of the Helen Stewart's very lacy socks. Yes, yes, yes. That I definitely have a skein of in my stash. Yeah. <laughs> this one's exceptional. Um, this is plaid, which we haven't had before. I, I love, love that so much. It's like, I never do blue. I, I may have to take a skein of that. This would look spectacular that. as a shawl with a, um, with yes. denim, don't you think? Ooh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's such mm -hmm. a perfect fall shawl. Yeah. It really does look like plaid. It's like, yeah, you know, I was thinking it's like it's kind of a funny name for a color, but it actually... It's like a flannel shirt. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one is fog warning. Fog warning. And I those two look fabulous warning. together, too. They really do. These two? Fog warning. Yeah. That fog warning is a great, um, yeah. like, bluey Bluey gray. gray. Bluey gray. Yeah, so gray pretty. Blue. I think my favorite would be embers and ash. That's really fun. Yeah. And that looks great with fog warning, too. Ooh, look at that. I was I was playing with them yesterday. <laughs> so, I so if you would like to win your choice of color, comment below. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you can also comment, like, that blue one. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll yeah. figure it out. <laughs> um, and then we so will nice. choose the giveaway winner the next time. Right before the next time we right podcast. Right before the next time we podcast. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. Yep. And actually, we haven't talked a whole lot about Sock Bingo this episode. We you know, mentioned it a couple of times. But um, go ahead and post either on Ravelry or Instagram your progress yes. pictures. Yep. Um, I did last night draw our winners for um, July. We're a little bit late. We're recording on the 10th today. Uh, just, I don't know, August is a weird month. It's yeah. just August so August gets away from you. Yeah, I guess. I because actually, like Haley's starting to prepare to get back to school now. Yeah. And she's doing her little trips and she's everything. Up and, yep, and um, so definitely, you know. So I will. I'll give Amanda the names. She can pop them in down yes. here, so yeah. people will know. And I'll contact them as well. But um, don't forget about you know. Oh, posting both. Give me my. Can you reach the yes. boss? 
No. No, the, oh, the, the Pokemon. How Pokemon can we forget? Colors. Yes, we yes, almost yes, forgot our other, other new in store. The other new in store. Is which this the is, last two? It is. Somebody <gasps> came in right after the newsletter came out yeah. last week and, and bought the other two. Yes. So, um, I'm, Mark, I'm yep. working on Lady. the blanket for my grandmother, which I, is my top priority because I'm going soon. Next week. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm taking a subset of children. I'm taking three children with me, which is a very small group of us. Uh, <laughs> but uh, none, none of the ones that are tiny um, and not potty trained yet. So <laughs> smart people who only are trouble with potty trained. Potty children. trained and can carry their own backpack. Yeah. So I'm guessing Abby is among them. Abby, Eric, and Lily are coming with me. Carry your bag. Alabama. Wipe your butt. <laughs> Yes, she may travel. <laughs> so, but after that, then um, I have so many projects that I'm working on, but I could not resist this one. Molly Girl came out with the Pokemon series. So this is a club. Mm -hmm. um, we're subscribed to it here at Yarnia. So we will get four sets of Pokemon colors every month. Each month. For a year. Wow. So excited. It's got to so craft did it them just, all. Did it just start in July? It just started in July. Excellent. Yes. So these, these are the, the starters. remaining July colors. Yeah. Then they're the starters. So July <clears> was um, Bulbasaur. Uh, no, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, Pikachu, and Eevee. Because mm. let's go Eevee. Eevee's let's a starter. Eevee. Ah. So these are it's your. It's been a long time are, since I've done Pokemon. I, I I did back in the day. So if you're a Pokemon fan or yes. a Minis fan, yep. So can I just say one thing though on Animal Crossing? I caught two of my bugs yesterday morning. <laughs> I did Yay! two of my July August. That's awesome. Oh my I did. Goodness. I did. Oh, I, I gotta get on that. Cleared my island the night before. I just I went around for an hour. Okay. I got up early. I went on at seven a.m. And at 7.45, I got one of them, and at like 7.50, I got the second, wow. and they stop at 8 a.m. I gotta get the golden stag beetle. That's what I, I gotta get. I think I have that one. I, so I, so now I only thing. have one, and I got a scarab, I, now I have like 10 scarab beetles. I got a scarab beetle like four nights ago. I got a Palkia Pokemon Go yesterday. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and Eric caught a shiny Dialga, which is oh, he did? spectacular. Oh my wow. god, how do you do that? I don't know. Lucky... <laughs> Lucky I little still kid. Need the horned <laughs> elephant, maybe. Oh yeah, that one I got. So these are oh, um, love these. twenty gram, right, or four hundred fifty yards for the whole pack. So yep. each one is mm, twenty 20 grams and eighty seven yards. Ninety yards. These would be also yeah. great for heels and toes. Like I'm <gasps> thinking for me. Oh my goodness, I, I like that would that be set. perfect. Yeah. So the way right, this orange. Yeah, your Charmander. Call my name. Charmander. <laughs> Charmander girl. It's the Kanto edition. Yep. So. All, each month, there's going to be anything. five new Pokemon from the Kanto region, which is the classic Pokemon region. Yeah. Um, and there'll be five new colorways each month. Um, we're going to keep them as a set for a month. At the end of the month, these wraps come off. Yeah. They're individuals, and you can purchase them individually if, nice. there's, if there's any left. If there's, there's any remaining. Left. Yeah. If there's any left. So if you have your heart set on one of them, you may need to suck it up and buy the set. Yeah. But you'll find a use for it because can you imagine like a Pokemon shawl? <gasps> well, well, so I'm going to do, I've decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a Gardasburg blanket because um, I have the DK set. Okay. Uh, so for the boys, I'm going to do a Gardasburg blanket. It'll be 60 squares. That's a lot of squares in a blanket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to have leftovers. Are you like going to, are you going to like pick up from one to do the next? Yes. Or are you making the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you'll do it in strips probably? I'll do it, or, well, or I'll do it even. in strips and then, well, actually... I was thinking about this um, because I was talking with the boys about like how should I organize this, and I think I might seam it at the end mm -hmm. because then I can put them in number in order. order. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, no, you need them and in number also, order. You could you even you could like crochet them together. You could lay it out. And like, yeah, but that is a quick way to do you it. You could too. order like a little number in the corner of each one. I could, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we'll get so there. many. But thoughts, I'm definitely so gonna do that ideas. because I want to see the colors purely. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Um, and a a good, uh, maybe a garter, maybe a stockinette, because that'll be like nice and even. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, to be there's going to be mitered squares, uh -huh. mitered square Fun. blanket. Mitered square um, blanket. That's what I'm doing. There will be leftovers, so there might be a. Uh, ends sweater for the boys too. Oh my oh, gosh, how cute would that be? 
I'll just make it for yeah. Eric, and then it'll pass down to Charlie, and then it'll pass down to Teddy, and then everybody gets to wear it. Everybody yeah, gets that's to wear my strategy. It. Very nice. It's a good strategy. It's a good Very strategy. Nice. So these are new in store too. These are the last two, um, and then we'll have the August ones will come out in a week or two, I think. Yeah. I've got it's it's mid month around the daytime. Yeah, out. Yeah, it was a little bit lighter in July ish, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's mm -hmm. not beginning. At of... some point in August. But look, we'll let subscribe you know. to the newsletter. And you'll know you right away. You can subscribe to the newsletter at hello at shop Yarny and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Yep. Um, and follow us online also at Instagram. Am I cutting you off? In no, else? I was okay. just going to say I can't wait for Jigglypuff. No, Jigglypuff is going to be so cute. I still have a Jigglypuff tape to spend to Pink <laughs> Um So you can follow us online um, at shopyarnia.com and you can follow us as shopyarnia on Instagram, on Ravelry, on Facebook. Uh, what else? What else? what else? And guys, comment below and win yourself yep. some sock NATO, mm -hmm. which is, it's such a delightful <clears throat> yarn. It is really nice. Um, don't forget to submit your sock bingo. Yes, please um, remember sock bingo. Because there's stuff to win Well, there. and even, even in progress. Yeah. Um, hashtag yeah. on Instagram, Yarnia shop, bi shop bi sock bingo. Yarn. My goodness. There we Talking. Go. It's hard. Yarnia sock um, bingo. Or uh, in the Ravelry chatter thread. That's where we yeah. pull yeah. our monthly prizes from. My progress online in Sock Bingo. Yeah. And we love seeing your comments. Uh, we love seeing your questions. We love seeing all of that. And we read everything. Um, so just, you know, if you have a question for us, give us mm -hmm. a shout. And if there's, I'm going to throw this out there because I'm thinking about classes for the fall. If there's oh, yeah. a class you want for the fall, let me know. Comment below. And we comment do in below. person and Zoom. So yes. if so if you're not local but you still like to take a class with us, that's totally doable. We, we do Zoom classes. And yeah. But we you can be in. probably not next time we podcast, but the time after that we'll have all of our new classes up. Yes. That gives me a deadline to work towards. Deadlines are good. That's why I finished my sock. It was part of Natalie's Yay. second sock week. Yes. Deadline. Thank you, Natalie. Natalie. Again. Deadlines hit a high note. Always. Cool. <laughs> all right. All right. And we might have a little clip from Haley to throw in. We'll see. We at least will have a picture of her sweater. But yes. she's Yay. she's been still making all the socks and all, so she's killing it, man. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> killing it. Yep. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.